So you want a melee build that's going to be really, really strong and really flavorful and fun that's not twisting blades. I got you covered, man. Welcome back to the channel, guys. War here. Today we are going to be doing Flurry, which is just the 360 degree spam of just nonstop blades into the enemy's guts okay so this is a 1 to 50 leveling build which can also be put into the end game we'll have end game stuff with better powers at a later day but right now we're just doing flurry uh for leveling 1 to 50 so keep that in mind so let's go over everything that you guys are going to need for the build and how to play it so today we are going into puncture into fundamental puncture the reason we want this is because we're doing a complete melee build this is going to allow us to make multiple enemies vulnerable and then we come down and we're going to put uh, five points into, excuse me, five points, I lost it, five points into Flurry, into imp Improved Flurry, which is going to make enemies vulnerable, and then when they're hit, they're vulnerable for three seconds, which is fantastic. We're taking three points into Stutter Step, so when we crit, we get more move speed. We have one point in Sturdy for damage reduction, and three points into Siphoning Strikes, just for some sustain to heal us back when we crit. Now, down here, guys, this build works both for Softcore and Hardcore. We're taking Shadow Step for Hardcore. You could do um, Dash if you wanted to for Softcore, but both really work well. I prefer Shadow Step because it's the only way that we can combat uh, crowd control effects. So we go into Methodical Shadow Step to stun uh, a monster when we do it. Three points into Weapon Mastery because we're using Daggers, so that way we do more damage against healthy enemies. However, I would prefer to use Swords. Then we have Concussive. After knocking back or knocking down an enemy, we gain Crit Strike Chance which is awesome. Then we come down to our Submerge skills and we're gonna be doing uh, Poison Trap into Countering Poison Trap. The reason for this is, is Poison Trap has a 30% chance to reset our Imbuement cooldowns, which is gonna be Poison Imbuement. Then of course we have Dark Shroud into Subverting Dark Shroud, which is gonna give us increased move speed. Then we have three points into Exploit and Malice for more damage against vulnerable enemies, as well as th uh, three into Exploit for increased damage against healthy and injured. Almost every enemy should be vulnerable, so we should always get those triggers. Next, we're coming down into our Imbuement skills. We have Poison Imbuement. You want to max this out as much as possible, all the way up to five if you can. But we have this just to maximize the amount of poison that we're going to be applying. And then we go into Blended Poison Imbuement. So on a crit, we apply even more damage. However, on a lucky hit chance, like Mixed Imbuement is also very, very strong. So you can kind of go back and forth here. If you don't feel like you're hitting a lot of crits, then do Mixed Imbuement. I would definitely suggest doing uh, Mixed Imbuement, especially against bosses. And then we come down and we grab Deadly Venom for more damage against Poison Enemies, which all of them should be. And then we have Debilitating Toxins, so they take less, or we take less damage, or excuse me, the monsters deal less damage while they're poisoned. And then the advantage here when we get increased attack speed against enemies that are poisoned. Now we come down to our ultimate skills. We aren't taking any ultimate skills. However, we are going to grab some passives here. We have Trap Mastery. So when Poison Trap or Death Trap activates, we get increased critical uh, strike chance against vulnerable enemies and crowd-controlled enemies for four seconds. This is huge. One point in Adrenaline Rush for Energy Regen, and then three points into Haste just to maximize our speed. Now, our key passive of choice is going to be Momentum. Again, just like in Twisting Blades, guys, this is going to be very, very easy to attain uh, with our Cutthroat skills to get the three stacks of Momentum for increased damage reduction, increased Energy Regen, and more speed. Okay? So, the way this build plays out is we just dash into combat. We're going to drop Poison Trap to help reset this. Pop Poison Imbuement. We're going to hit Puncture, and then we're just going to spam Flurry. So into our gear here, we'll, we'll show you the gear at the end, but let's just showcase the build just a little bit. Let's go knock this thing out. The build is really, really fun to play. Super, super fun. I really do enjoy it. Pop poison imbuement. Go ahead and grab a trap. It's a 360 degree spam, which is awesome. It's really, really cool. I had some people commenting about, um, you know, builds not working really really well against you know single targets or maybe they're struggling etc but again guys i want you guys to keep in mind that these are leveling builds and these are not designed to do a crazy amount of damage this is one to 50 okay it's one to 50 for the build and you can do a lot of damage to people with this build i actually kind of prefer flurry over uh twisting blades if i'm being honest reset our poison dead it actually feels really really good when we crit we move so so fast in the 360 degree angle it's just so good 
It just hits so hard, man. Everything gets poison. It's fantastic. The build absolutely slaps. I really prefer this over Twisting Blades. But you guys can see the build is fairly very simple. It's not a hard build to play at all. Reset poison. Boom, done. These monsters just die so easily. Kind of an elite here. Now, you got to be careful on your rotations here for your stuff not to fall out. But but as long as you can, you should be good. And you just you got to pay attention to the poison. You realize the poison is just going to be enough to kill them. Now, you do got to keep in mind that your Dark Shrouds are really just going to be... They're really not going to be there all the time, especially being in melee. But you can... You can still take advantage of it in and out. The build is just so, so good, guys. So, so good. Rack up those combo points, and you're good to go. Super fun. Super fun. You can just get everywhere. 360 degrees. The build is very, very cool. I really prefer this over Twisting Blades. I'm going to keep saying that until people get it. Poison Abutment, dead. They all just die. Super dead. And the build is really fast. We're just going to leave that little wave there. But, yeah, guys, that is the build. So we're going to get into the gear and what we have. Our specialization is going to always be combo points on melee builds because you rack these up really, really fast with the puncture. So you rack up three stacks and you just flurry, flurry away. So let's get into the gear and what you're going to need for the build, leveling 1 to 50. Again, all of these are going to be codexes. All of them are going to be stuff that you can get from dungeons, so it's easy to apply to your character. So first we're going to have the Bone Weaver. Armor of Might, this is a passive to give you damage reduction with basic skills. Then we're going to have um, Rapid to give us basic skill increased attack speed, which is huge to help uh, fill up those combo points. Then Ruin the Legs of Disobedience, this is just really good for armor. Okay, then in our Amulet, we are going to be doing Flurry, which is going to give us even more damage. And we do a 360 degree uh, attack as you guys can see the one negative to this is is that you know the aoe is just quite small so you might have to just like dash in or siphon strike in to a big huge mob as you guys seen here or evade in and then do it but you can you guys can see it's really really effective then we have killing a vulnerable enemy gives you a chance for energy regen which is cool to kind of help spam flurry and then we have a vengeful loop so making an enemy vulnerable has a chance to give you more crit strike chance and then one of my favorites this is really really good for just any skill in general um is attacking with basic skills increase the neck the damage of your next core skill by up to 30 percent with puncture you're hitting multiple enemies so this is going to go up really really fast and doing 30 times more damage is just insane so those are going to be what you need for the build now i do get a lot of questions in the comments and i and this is a really good point but some people ask well war you have the main attack or main legendary power or codex in the amulet why well why is because we want to have this here so we don't you know have to replace it over and over again because we're always going to be replacing our weapons but then someone goes well hey well how about this well why not just put it in your weapon your two-handed weapon because you're only going to be doing melee damage this is true you can definitely definitely do this okay however i will say that it does contribute to your overall attack power these weapons are always going to be leveled up but it is something that you can definitely test if you want to use a lower level um, bow and just put the main power on it for your melee build and then don't worry about your don't put it on your edge masters or your blades then you could definitely do that so that way you get the 200% increase on here. Even at the basic, it would be 60%, which is really, really good. So you could definitely do that. I just wanted to point that out. It was a really good comment and feedback for people, at least for leveling, because you're never going to be using a ranged attack with this loadout. So, yeah, really good, interesting thing. But that, guys, that is the Flurry melee rogue build level from 1 to 50. The build is absolutely fantastic. I actually really enjoy it. It's a lot more flavorful than uh using twisting blades and i just enjoy it a little bit more it's kind of feeds into my style run in hit everybody in aoe and then move on plus you get to use poison abutment which is just insane with poison trap to reset it so it's really really cool so like the video guys comment down below let me know what you guys think and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next build video peace